Okay, you have a really nice question. So two circles with a radius of five, they are connected by a tangent line. And on that tangent line sits a square where the top two vertices are touching the circumferences of the circles. And we want to find out the area of the square. Okay, we can label one of the sides x, and the area would then be x squared. So first things first, we can extend radial lines to the vertex of the square and to the tangent line. This would be at 90 degrees. Portion of this tangent line then would be x, and the remainder would be 5 minus x. We can then extend a horizontal line from the radius to the vertex of the square and call that one y, and now we have a right angle triangle. Okay, using Pythagoras' theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a is y, b is 5 minus x, and c is 5, we can then find y. So let's first expand the bracket and square the 5. So then we'd have y squared plus x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals 25. We can then subtract x squared, add 10x, and subtract 25 to both sides. This leaves us with y squared equals negative x squared plus 10x. And then to find y, you take the square root of both sides. y equals square root of negative x squared plus 10x. And let's just put that to one side. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, now that we have a value for y, we can set up a new equation where y plus y plus x would have a length of 10. We can simplify this to 2y plus x equals 10. And now we can substitute our value for y into this equation. So it's 2 times square root of minus x squared plus 10x plus x equals 10. Let's move the x to the other side of the equation. We can subtract it. So we have 2 times square root of negative x squared plus 10x equals 10 minus x. Okay, to get rid of the square root, we will then square both sides. So this will leave us with 4 multiplied by negative x squared plus 10x equals 10 minus x squared. So let's first expand the bracket on the left. Negative 4x squared plus 40x. Square the bracket on the right. This will be 100 minus 20x plus x squared. Now let's set the equation to 0. We could add 4x squared to both sides and subtract 40x from both sides. And this gives us 0 equals 100 minus 60x plus 5x squared. Okay, let's just rewrite this quadratic. So 0 equals 5x squared minus 60x plus 100. And we can divide all terms by 5. So let's factorize a quadratic by finding factors of 20 that multiply to 20 and add to negative 12. That is going to be negative 10 and negative 2. To solve the equation, make both of the bracket 0, which would mean that x would have to be 10 and x would have to be 2. Looking at the example, x can't be 10. Uh, so we reject that. So x is 2. So let's find the area x squared, which is 2 squared, which is 4, and the units are meters squared. That is a really nice question.